You have one chance to load the game. You're doing it. Come on. You can do it, man. You did it. You loaded the game. Excellent. In six days, every living cell on Earth will be dead. You have one chance. You tell them right now voices to do this with. Anyway, John Pilgrim versus the world. Let's go meet that hussy, because I guess that's one of the only things I haven't done yet. Yeah, I don't I don't love you anymore or something, because I'm going to go meet the slut at work and we're gonna do horrifically inappropriate things. Horrifically, horrifically inappropriate. And there's like that reminds me of like a UFO, that cloud in the background there. It's probably just because it's grey and in a odd shape. There's Jim. We hate Jim. You need to die in a fire. If Spacebar killed you, which it doesn't, unfortunately, I would be cutting your face open with an apple. It's even worse to have your face cut open with a blunt object. It really is painful. And I would like to subject Jim to it. Hey, hussy, let's skip work. We're going to go out for a drink to celebrate. Because our name is John. And there's no dialogue in this section. And that's like a jukebox on the right or something. In five days, every living cell on Earth will be dead. I think I already used this voice. I only had one chance, and I repeated it. So screw you guys. Oh yeah, mummy's in the tub. We don't care. Hey, mummy. Phone's been ringing. The second day is always the same. It's kind of unfortunate. You're only supposed to be playing it one time, though, so I guess that does make sense. Because, you know, there are only a few choices. Because, you know, in most choice-based games, you have, like, whole storyline, like, separate diverging storylines, but... In this, it makes sense, because you're only supposed to play it once, but I'm a cheating bastard. And you all encourage me to be a cheating bastard, so... You are equally cheating bastards. And we can't talk to the hussy today. Her, she has no mouth, and she must scream. Just like everyone else in this entire game. I'm not sure how they talk. It's telekinesis. We're all telekinetic. And let's watch this guy commit suicide. Hey, buddy. Yep. Oh, God. We did stuff. Horrible stuff. You know what? You did not do the test a thousand times. You're freaking lying. You're exaggerating. You're hyperbolic. That's just inappropriate. You know what? You deserve that, okay? Freaking falsifying your results and saying you ran tests a thousand times. The president is denouncing him right now. In four days, every living cell on planet Earth will be dead. I'm not sure what this. I'm not sure what that accent was supposed to be. It didn't really go anywhere. My wife is fat. Is just staying in bed because she's lazy. Also, this mirror shows the front of my face, even though it should be showing the back of me. Some sort of psycho evil mirror that's going to eat my face. I hate when mirrors eat my face. It's the worst thing to happen from a mirror that I can think of, anyway. The end is nigh, says President. You know, you don't even have the official U.S. presidential seal on your podium thingy. And you don't have a teleprompter, either. I don't think you're the President of the United States. I think you're some jerk-off that has a big name tag that says President. That doesn't make you the president, jerk. It takes effort to get there. There must be something we can do, says Bruce Willis. This guy doesn't really look like Bruce Willis, though. Maybe if Bruce Willis was an 8-bit and he wore, like, a lab coat and a tie. Why would you wear a lab coat and a tie? That's sort of odd. Maybe they're not lab coats. Maybe they're just random suit thingies. You should not be wearing ties to any sort of science. One, because ties are retarded, and two, because it's not safe. But ties being retarded is considerably more important in this case. Um, let's go to the roof. Let's be like, hey boss, what's going on? Let's do a dance. It's the end of the world jig. He's like, woo! He's doing... It's like seizure party dance time. Aw, oh, seizure party dance time is over. Um, well, I guess since I'm cheating, I hate my family now, so I'll... Go to the lab? Sure. Like I said, there's only 
couple... I think there's probably about two choices a day. In three days, if you're living in one plant, oh, who we did? You have one chance. I should have had, like, a checklist of accents I've used, because I don't remember which ones I've done anymore. And my fat wife isn't even talking. Jeez. Not even getting out of bed. Hey, Molly. Look at you. You have crap all over the floor. I think I've already yelled at you about this, but still. I only had one chance to yell at Molly about her crap everywhere. Let's pick up the news, and holy crap, you teleporting weirdos are going to murder me. Let's get out my shotgun and kill all of you zombie creatures. Because why else would they suddenly, like, spawn here in a massive group? Only zombies do that. That's what Left 4 Dead taught me. I need to play Left 4 Dead more. I haven't actually ever played it online. I bought it last, this summer, when I was without a good internet connection. Anyway, this is the hussy. Hey you, glad you can make it. You know, since this could be our last day on Earth, I've been meaning to ask you something. Do you maybe want to get out of here? So, I'm thinking option A is we're probably going to, like, commit suicide together or something, something messed up like that, or we're going to go screw each other. I'm not sure which is more likely, considering this game. Oh! It would be the latter. Well, that was incredibly quick. Stop driving backwards, asshole! That puts people- let's put lives at risk, John. Look, your wife spilled Kool-Aid again because of how freaking reckless you are. Asshole. You know, Kool-Aid doesn't grow on trees, people. I looked it up. It doesn't. It's made of, like, sugar and red stuff. I don't think either of those grow on trees. Well, trees have, like... Trees may have sugar, but shut up. Everything has sugar. Every Most living things. Anyway. Aw, Molly's adorable. That's the Kool-Aid your mother spilled everywhere because she's fat and we don't like her anymore. And there's her gravestone. Let's go to work, Molly. Let's go um, meet that hussy for a three... Oh, God, no. Never mind. I'm not... I'm not sure what else I can do at this point. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done everything I could do at work on this day. It's like the fifth. So let's go to the park for no reason. It's all... Um, actually, rather very morose here. Molly's freaking adorable, though. There's also some snow. I don't feel very well either, Molly. Oh, she died. Well, that's great. Well, okay then. Um, well. Every living thing is going to be dead. And we sort of killed our family, so. That's awesome. Let's see what we can go do. It's a nice touch that you're slower on the last day when you're all like... Almost zombie face. There's Molly's room. There's dead room. So, going to the park kills your daughter, which is sort of odd, because going to work the same day doesn't... Also, there should be two crosses there. Come on, man. You didn't give... You already gave your daughter a cross. What did you do? Throw it away? You're a jerk. Um... I, I guess let's go to the park. There doesn't... Um, you're dead. Oh, there you go. Frickin' zombie Molly grabbing on my back to, like, bite my neck. Jesus, that's horrifying. I guess the snow is a nice atmospheric touch. Um, I guess the whole hussy thing doesn't really have its own ending. But... Oh, wait, I did end up dead on this park bench before. Whatever. I'm assuming that if you bring Molly on the last day to the park instead of to work, uh, you just end up dead on the park bench, so... I think that's all of the choices you could make between these three videos. So yeah, you only had one chance, but you're a cheating bastard and you watch these videos, so... You saw pretty much everything in the game, and you should feel bad about that. You should also feel bad about spilling Kool-Aid. It's a national emergency. Don't spill Kool-Aid. That's all I have to say.